What would happen if you were put in front of a control panel with a big red button on it and told not to press it? Would the curiosity in you get the best and you press that button? Or would you do as you're told and not touch it? Well, in the second thought, that's kind of the crux of this game. Some of you, though, might know it as a different title. It's called Please Don't Touch Anything. Now that is a much bigger, much more confusing uh, puzzle game that you can go and buy, and I highly recommend buying it. I have it, it's wonderful, it's difficult, and uh, it's really fun. But for those who don't know what this game is, and I don't blame you, it's very obtuse, um, why don't you play The Second Thought? It's free, it's nothing, well, it is, and it's nothing like the paid version that you would get. The paid version is much bigger. This one, this free version, only has 11 or so uh, endings. That that matters, so I'll explain later. But this is like the bare-bones demo of the game. If you're on the fence of getting Please Don't Touch Anything, this is the game you should try and play in order to figure out if you like the game in order to get it. I do recommend the game. If you are a puzzle fan, definitely get it. Now, if you're on the fence... Stick around, because I will explain thusly what this game is. Although, I will give a spoiler warning. Because this game is best going in blind. Not knowing how the puzzles work is kind of the best way to play this game. Which is weird, you know? It's, well, with any puzzle game, yes. But it's weird, because... With a game like Please Don't Touch Anything, you don't know what the game is. But you kind of have to go on faith to play the game in order to enjoy it. It's a weird thing, truly. But, nevertheless, spoiler warning in advance. If you want to go in blind, the link to this demo is in the description below. Got it? Good. So, how do we play this game? Well, aforementioned big red button is right there sitting in front of me. Do I press it? Yes. Technically, you kind of have to press it to get the game going, but the whole point is not to press the button. It, it's a weird cat, skinny a cat a thousand ways of curiosity and whatnot thing. So, let's press the button and see what happens. Okay. A little switch popped up. Now, Here's where the puzzling comes in, all right? Do you flip that switch, or do you press the button again? I'm gonna press the button again. Ooh, another panel showed up. Now, what's that mean? Well, I don't know, maybe we should press the button again. Nothing happened. Press it again? Again? Again, 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 something happened. See, this game is an order of operations branching path puzzle game. In the top right corner, we see some discolorations. And, of course, also the little yellow dots in the bottom left. Um... This game has multiple endings, and it is your job to piece together how to get those endings. Now, in the main game that you buy, there's a lot of endings, and there are tons of variables that you go through in order to get those endings. It is a difficult puzzle game. It is quite difficult. And that's the draw of it. You kind of just play around with this thing thing in front of you and see what happens. And it's really engaging. 
See, now I have a screwdriver. We click on the screwdriver and drag it around. Well, look, there's screw panels here. Let's unscrew it. What, what do we have? We have buttons of colors. I don't know what to do with that. I could guess. Or possibly later on I'll figure it out. And then afterwards, we can come back and reset the board, because with this big restart lever, everything gets wiped back to square one red button. And that's the game. It is simple, and yet, it's mind-scratching. Press the button, press the button, press the button, press the button. Was that the wrong combination, or did it do nothing? I don't know. Do I press the button again? Keep pressing the red button. Oh, there's a hammer now. What do I do with the hammer? I don't know. But somehow it interacts with this place. This thing. I'm not going to show you any more of this. Go play it for yourself and see what you can figure out. And if it really gets to you, Definitely get Please Don't Touch Anything. I, myself, am, uh, saving up a little bit to get Please Don't Touch Anything 3D. I haven't played it yet, but I have good feelings for it. Um, but yeah, this demo is, uh, in the description below. My name is Ben Dark Arts, and... Let's, let's try smashing the screen. Ooh. Ooh. I got something for it, but what does it mean? <laughs> Play the game, figure it out yourself.